Model 3 and Model Y owners, you're going to love our new display for your dashboard. It is awesome and really, really cool. It's got all the features everybody wants. So first of all, check this out. When you hit your scroll button right here, your camera lights right up. Every time you get in the car, you put it in drive, you put it in reverse, you now have a front camera that you will install right, on, right below your front bumper. So there's on, there's off. You can quickly turn it on and off anytime you're driving. That's a great feature. Now also, all the controls can be controlled from here, but it's also touch screen. So this is really nice. We can simply put it on navigation. We can put it on CarPlay. We can start CarPlay. You can hit this. It connects to your phone. It plays your music through your stereo. It instantly connects right to your device. So all of the music and all of the apps on your iPhone or Android are instantly put on here, commonly known as CarPlay. So let's switch back here. So again, the key features are all the CarPlay messages, text messages, music, also navigation. It has its own navigation program in here. You don't have to use the one on your main display. You can set the navigation up in your phone and enter it in here and it'll instantly work just like you're using your iPhone on your uh, dashboard. So we've got maps, we've got music, CarPlay, swipe it down, you can get out, go out of the whole system. It's very easy and again, everything can be done here. Notice my hand scrolling up and down. So you're not reaching through your steering wheel, even though we have a yoke style here. We've got tire pressure always available here. You can simply change this to a clock. Everything is here. It's the best. It doesn't block the airflow. We've designed it to have this airflow where the air flies over and goes right at you. It still allows you to split the airflow. It works great. Um, again, navigation, the camera, its own GPS built into it, its own GPS antenna. It's easy to install. You're going to put the wires right down the dash and plug into the OBD2 port over there, and that's it. Super simple. We install them here. We also will have a video up to explain how to do everything yourself. But just put it in drive anytime the camera's on. You're driving, it turns off. You put it in park, the camera turns off. And then again, in reverse, you always have a backup camera. You always have your system here. And then when you're in drive, it does this. So again, the camera feature is great. No more scraping curbs. No more damaging your front end or wondering if the Tesla Vision is working good enough. And again, going down the road, I prefer to have my tire pressure on and my camera. Camera on, camera off. It's that simple. From RPM, in stock now, Bluetooth, Everything is upgradable. It's got memory slots. We've already got an update from the manufacturer, and it's in stock now. Thanks for watching, and Happy New Year.